you may feel like you're sort of stuck on your health care coverage and you just sort of sign on each and every year, but there are some options and that's why we have uh, a professional expert and consultant, Tom Masney, from the Pennant Group, uh, joining us. Um, Tom's a former Major League Baseball player with the Cleveland Indians and has made his home with his wife, a local attorney, uh, here in the CSRA and has been helping dozens of uh, businesses, which is really fantastic. And uh, Tom, I know in previous segments we just sort of talked about um, – doing things the same old way. And what do they say about the, uh, uh, that's the definition of insanity, right? It is. Yeah. And I guess you wanted to talk about maybe some different options that um, business owners have. Yeah, we're going to get into the meat a little bit. Um, You know, in previous podcasts and episodes, we've just talked in general generalities. Uh, We haven't really gotten into the meat of what their options are out there. Mm -hmm. Um, And these are not the end all be all, right? Mm -hmm. But these are really the three funding strategies and funding mechanisms that underlie health insurance. Um, you know, we could break down each each funding mechanism, and that could be a 10-part series. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is a lot to know um, about insurance, and it is not, and I've mentioned this before, it's not a sexy topic, mm-hmm. right? It is a boring, arduous topic, but... Expensive topic, it is extremely <laughs> expensive, extremely important, right? Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it is... Probably um, the number one reason that consumers go into bankruptcy is because of health care expenses and medical bills. Um, so finding the right product and managing that correctly is, is vital. Um, you know, as I've mentioned earlier, this is a top line item for most companies. So it's not only a top line item from companies, but it's a top li- line item for households. Um, and making sure that the right product is in place and the right funding mechanism is in place can benefit everybody. You're, you're right. I mean, some uh, homeowners pay more for their family health insurance than their mortgage, and then you take it to the company level, and it's probably just below labor. Um, how many companies do you think are kind of fully insured? You know, I would say it's about 40% okay. are fully insured. Um, reality is most, most companies, about 60% are self-funded or partially self-funded, but those are going to be your larger companies. Right. Um, that's starting to trickle down. So we're starting to see that and it's starting to open up more options. Um, companies are getting creative. Consultants are getting creative. Um, insurance companies are getting creative. Um, so we're seeing a, a, a change across the industry, um, and it's exciting. Define for us what fully insured means. Does that mean that the company is just paying 100% of the premium? No, not exactly. Um, So let's go into what insurance is, right? Mm -hmm. So insurance is a transfer of risk. and That's really what it is. We're taking the risk of the unknown and we're transferring that to another company that we're paying for, right? And it's, Mm -hmm. it's a game, Yeah. right? Um, I'll tell you this. It's a, there are a lot of formulas and actuaries behind the scenes that are taking educated guesses Mm. um, and using data to make those uh, predictions. So it's not as risky as it it may seem for that insurance company. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a lot of levers that they can pull behind the scenes to make up extra money. And that's what um, I want to expose in future podcasts. Um, We don't have enough time today to discuss that. But Really, when you look at insurance um, and employee benefits, health insurance um, is what I'm talking about, there's three main funding mechanisms. You've got fully insured, you've got um, level funded, and partially Mm self-funded, okay? And then within that, there's different parameters. Um, I want to talk about really fully insured, partially self-funded, and then captives, Okay, I didn't okay. mention captives. It's the different funding mechanism that mm-hmm. I want to spend some time on. But really, the, the products are either owned by an insurance company or they're owned by you. Mm. Okay, So when we look at a fully insured product, um, it's not the premiums that are 100% paid for by the insurance company. The premiums are what you, the consumer, pay. What is 100% paid for by the and covered by the insurance company is the risk. 
Okay, mm. so they are taking all of the risk behind the scenes. You are paying a premium, and that covers that r- risk that they have come up with and they've predicted. So you basically pay them, you see your doctors, and you forget about it. You don't have any more transfer of risk. You're just paying paying for their their coverage. Um, it's probably we had in a previous the easy button. That's the easiest form of insurance where there's not a lot of work from an employer standpoint, but it's also the least transparent form sure. of insurance. I did want to mention that uh, Tom's website is the for more information. And you mentioned that some of the risk or partial risk could be on the insurance company and some could be on the company um, themselves. Uh, but I'm very curious, uh, what does captive mean? Yeah, so captives, probably not the best term to be used, right? So when you think of uh, a captive, it means that you're held hostage. That's right. Right? <laughs> That's not what a captive is in, in insurance. So let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dumb this down because, as you mentioned, former baseball player. Sure. Um, I, I'm, I'm a simple simpleton, right? Like I, I just need things broken down in the simplest form so I can understand it. And then once I understand the simple form, then I can go down rabbit holes mm-hmm. to better understand that, that product. So like I mentioned, we've got, we've got fully insured, we've got partially self-funded, and then we have captives. Those are the, the three main funding mechanisms in today's market. You've got one fully insured that's owned by the insurance company. You've got partially self-funded, which means um, it's you are paying that risk, and then there's an insurance company helping, so it, there's partial to both. And then you have a captive, where captives are a group of like-minded employers. That's the key word, like-minded. Mm-hmm. They don't have to be in the same industry, um, but they need to be like-minded um, in trying to achieve common goals where they have joined together to share risk. Okay. Okay. So there's a number of different captives. There's, you know, a couple in our market here, but um, it seems like a new one pops up every single day. Um, Finding the right captive is a personal fit, but it's really finding the like-minded employers within that captive that make the most sense. The other thing I'm curious about is for employers that are watching, should they know what, the health is of their general workforce. Does that matter? Does that factor in? It, it does. I mean, we talk about HIPAA. Right? Mm-hmm. HIPAA is kind of that that uh, buzzword that we don't want to violate. Yeah. Right. People's privacy is important. We don't want to violate that. But it is important for the business owner to understand what is driving their costs, not who, but what. So, is it prescriptions? Is it um, medical conditions? Are they one and done medical? Conditions? which I mean by one and done, was it a large surgery that is no longer you know, going to affect the plan? So a one-time uh, procedure that affected their rates. Or is it an ongoing condition? We don't need to know who. We need to know what and why so we can make educated decisions. And depending on the, f- the, the funding mechanism and the size of the employer, that's what um, really you know, opens up as you get into these. So I, I want to touch base. We talked about fully insured, uh, partially self-funded, and captives. And there's still, still probably some confusion. So I'm going to dumb it down a little bit Go right more. ahead. Okay. So think of this as, um, you know, I, I explained this to my, my 10-year-old, and he kind of got the concept. Um, and it just happens to be my name when we look at an acronym standpoint. Like it's, it's T-O-M. Right? Okay. So it kind of it's it's fitting, and I, you know, I heard this. I can't take credit for it. I heard it on a podcast, but it just made sense. So when you look at fully insured, it's their risk. Mm-hmm. T right, their risk. Yeah. When you look at partially self funded, there's two layers. There's my risk, and their risk. Mm-hmm. Right. So on a partially self funded. I am paying all of my employees' claims behind the scenes up to a certain dollar amount. Okay. At that dollar amount, then the insurance company picks up the rest. So if it's that is there above the line, I'm paying for all of it below. That's mine. 
Okay. That's my risk that I'm taking. So when I'm partially self-funded, that yeah. means there's I'm partially taking risk, and an insurance company is partially our? taking risk. Would it be our? So our, our is a captive. Okay. 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 So our adds in a third layer. Okay. Okay. So you've got their risk, which is right. the insurance company, above a certain threshold. And then you have my risk below that threshold. And then in the middle is where these like-minded employers have gotten together and they are sharing risk between the companies, right? So you, we have Tom, right? It's theirs, ours, and mine, mm-hmm. and then theirs, ours, and mine. So my job as a consultant is to sit down with you, the consumer, and you, the employer, and say, what makes the most sense? What are we trying to accomplish with our health care plan? Why are you offering it? And then what does this look like in the future? Let's be proactive about it versus reactive. You heard it. You, you need to get, get in touch with them because you need to be part of the t- Tom's program, basically. You'll fit into <laughs> one of these categories. Guaranteed Tom's program uh, could work for you. Just go online to the pennantgroup.com and there's actually some explainers in addition to what we've learned here. Tom is also one of the thought led- leaders on augustabusinessdaily.com so you can go to that website and learn some more. It's all about um, information because you said health insurance is not maybe the sexiest thing but if you're paying money you got to be careful. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean it's to me we, we as consultants and we as um, insurance specialists need to meet our clients where they are in this journey. Mm-hmm. Um, I've said it before, it's a, it's a crawl, walk, run, fly approach. Um, I would love for all of my clients to be flying, which means not worrying about insurance and just mm-hmm. paying claims, but we're really managing those claims. Reality is we're not going to get there. I mean, those are, those are pipe dreams, and I'm aware of it, but if I can um, meet the clients where they are and take them down this, a journey, that makes sense for them and we get to their desired outcome, then we're changing the game for them. Excellent. Well put by a former Major League Baseball player. Changing the game of employee benefits. Tom, thank you again for the time. Yeah, always a pleasure. Okay. Thank you.